Hey guys, it is Joe with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm kicking off fall crafting. I have brand new fall crafts. I think you are going to love. I know it is only July, but tis the season to begin your fall crafting. Now is the time to get your inspo and gather your supplies so you are ready to go once you want to begin your fall crafts. I'm going to be sharing some new ones with you today, including these darling apple pies. Are they not the cutest? And they are so easy to make too. I cannot wait to show you. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a hot apple cider to get in the mood. Sit back, relax, and let the fall crafting begin. The first fall craft, I'm going to be making a super cute pumpkin. I am starting with three of these 12-inch silver trays from Dollar Tree, and I'm painting them with a coat of folk art paint in the color cinnamon. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to add a coat of matte Mod Podge to the top of each tray, sprinkle it with cinnamon, and then add a coat of Mod Podge on top. I love doing this technique with the Mod Podge and cinnamon. I've done it on a lot of projects, and once it is dry, it gives it a very rustic look. Simply adding a coat of Mod Podge to the tray, sprinkling it with cinnamon, and then adding a coat of Mod Podge on top to seal it in. I am done with all of my trays. I'm going to set them aside to dry on a warm, sunny day. You can put them outside and they will dry really quick. And here is what they look like once they are dry. Next, I'm going to attach two of my trays together with hot glue and then hot glue a paint stick on the back of it for some security. You could use a popsicle stick as well. And then I'm going to add hot glue to the center and attach the other tray. Once the pumpkin is assembled, it's now time to add the accents. I am using this wheatgrass that I had on hand. I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby last year. I love it. So I'm hot gluing some of that onto the tray and then a bow that I made. And then I'm going to also add a stem using some wired jute twine from Dollar Tree. And if you want to hang this, you could add some twine to the back of it to hang. Finally, I decided it needed a little pop of green, so I had some greenery in my craft room that I hot glued to this as well. And here it is, all done. It is super cute, and I love the way it turned out. like this pumpkin wait to see what I have coming up next I'm going to be making a larger one I'm starting off with three of these large platters also from Dollar Tree and I'm going to begin by adding a coat of paint I'm using folk art paint in the color barnwood Once the first coat of paint is dry, I'm going to dry brush a coat of white paint on top. I'm using folk art chalk paint in the color white and Adirondack. I take a lot of paint off of my brush and then dry brush that white coat of paint on top using long strokes. And the key to dry brushing is not having a lot of paint on your brush. So I use a separate paper plate to remove most of my paint from my brush before I apply it. Next, I'm going to attach two of the platters together with hot glue. These trays are really light, but for some extra security, I'm going to flip it over and attach a piece of wood from Dollar Tree onto the back. You could use a painter stick as well. Then I'm gonna flip it over, add some hot glue to the center and attach the other platter. And then I'm going to flip it around to the back and add additional hot glue in the seams. 
and as you can see now it is nice and secure next i'm going to make a bow to attach to the pumpkin i'm using ribbon from hobby lobby i lay my ribbon out and then i decide on how big i want my bow to be and then i just make loops twisting it in the center and i'm going to make four loops to have a double bow Once I have all of my loops, I'm going to secure the center with a cable tie. And then I fluff the loops and see how long I want the tails and dovetail the ends. Now I'm going to add additional accents to the pumpkin. I had this fall bush that came from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to trim it apart with my wire cutters and then hot glue the pieces to the pumpkin with hot glue. Now I'm going to attach the bow to the center of the pumpkin with hot glue. I made a stem with some wire jute twine that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm hot gluing that to the back. To hang this I'm attaching some twine to the back with hot glue and then I have a paint stick that I cut down and I'm hot gluing that over the twine. You could use popsicle sticks as well. And here it is all done. I absolutely love the way this turned out and it is about two and a half feet wide. I love the way this looks hung, but you could also lean this against something as well. Next up, I have another craft using a large platter from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to begin by painting around the rim with a coat of folk art paint in the color Barnwood. Once the rim is painted, I'm going to set it aside to dry. Next, I'm going to paint the center with some chalk paint and I am using the chalk paint from Dollar Tree. I added a coat of chalk paint, set it aside to dry and then added two additional coats. And this is how it looks. Next, I'm going to attach some ribbon to the back with hot glue to hang this chalkboard platter. And I am using non-wired ribbon for this. And once I have the ribbon attached, now I have a hanging chalkboard platter. I absolutely love this. And I could use chalk to write anything on it, but I don't like my handwriting too much. So I have this stencil on hand that I'm going to use on it. And here it is all done. I absolutely love the way this chalkboard platter turned out. Last up, I'm going to show you how I made that darling mini faux apple pie. I began with this auto sponge that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut it into bite sized pieces. I have enough pieces cut to fill my pie dish I add my pieces to a paper plate and I'm going to toss the sponge pieces with paint and I'm using deco art paint in the color cocoa and then I transfer those pieces over to a clean plate to dry While my sponge pieces are drying, I'm going to cut my strips of muslin. I'm using coffee stained muslin and I'll include a link on how I coffee stain my muslin in the description below. I also like to tear my muslin to give it a torn look and to do that I cut a slit at the top of the muslin and then I gently tear it. 
Next, I'm gonna cut my long strips of muslin down to fit over the pie dish. I'm gonna have a little bit of overhang because I'm gonna trim that at the end. Also gonna tear a few additional pieces of muslin to use as a crust and I'm cutting these a little wider than I did the strips. And these are the ceramic dishes that I am using. I found them at Home Goods and I love using them for these mini pies. Also, I'm going to tear an additional piece of muslin and stamp the word apple on it. I'm also going to make a bow with some twine and have it ready to attach at the end. Once my sponge pieces are dry, I'm going to add hot glue to the bottom of my pie dish and start adding my pieces. Once the bottom is filled, I add hot glue to each piece to attach it. I'm going to lay my strips of muslin over the pie to create a lattice. Once I have all of my strips in place, I'm going to attach the strips to the rim of the pie dish with hot glue. And then I will trim off the excess pieces. Now I'm going to attach the crust, so I add a ribbon of hot glue around the rim and I'm going to pleat the muslin as I go around. I'm going to spray the mini pie with spray glue. I am using spray glue from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to sprinkle it with glitter. The first glitter is from Hobby Lobby and the second one is from Michaels. Once I have it all glittered, I'm going to spray it with additional spray glue and then add my little tag and bow. And here it is all done. How cute is this mini apple pie? I love it. This is so fun and easy to make too. You could even add a few drops of essential oil in the sponge if you wanna give it a subtle scent as well. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what your favorite fall craft was from today. And for daily DIY and decor inspo, make sure you're following me over on Instagram at Mother Time. Thanks so much for spending some time with me here today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.